Well, God with us, our hearts do swell. Nature proclaims to the throne above, no sorrow to conquer a heart full of love. His name is delightful beyond expression. O holy God, our Savior, your Son. The avenue he came in was not tainted with sin like ours the, the way we came in. Each true believer is Christ's picture on earth. Let's joyfully remember our Redeemer's glorious birth. God hung a new star, may our eyes upward gaze, and let us indulge in angel songs of praise. Let us bend our hearts to the cradle and bow, and with rich and poor pilgrims our obligations to vow. Let earth rejoice and labor to cease, while we gladly celebrate the Prince of Peace. Faith is our life work from cradle to crown. Death could not hold us, nor the grave keep us down. Emmanuel, God with us, now we with him. Oh, let us adore sweet heaven's bright gem. In resurrection we raise and ascend up higher. Triumphant in him, oh, the splendor of that hour. Yes, Bethlehem's babe in mind weakness we ponder. Let him fill our hearts with scenes yet yonder. The cradle wasn't all that we delight and adore, but soon on the cross his life's blood he did pour. God incarnate in human form came down from a cradle to a cross and a glorious bright crown. Emmanuel, our brother, our friend, God with us and we with him. Amen. 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 That good? We welcome our listening audience on 105.9, the beacon of faith that shines out from Fort Pierce, Florida, all around the world by internet and locally, of course, on that particular station. Here in our scripture, we see this precious verse that's before us, and I want to spell out Jesus using an acrostic, if you would please. I want to talk, and my title would be Jesus, J-E-S-U-S. -S. The one, capitalized all the way through, one reason for the season. Amen. You see, I'm going to preach a Christmas message to you tonight because I won't be here during the Christmas uh, holiday, you might want to call it, during the Christmas celebration. Uh, we'll be gone up into West Virginia, and we'll be celebrating up there. But here's the thing about celebrating Christmas. The thing about celebrating Christmas, I find if you do it, 364 days a year when December rolls around whether that's the right time or not we don't have any problem at all worshiping amen. the Lord when it comes amen. December time amen? amen aren't you glad for that I'm glad for that I'm just a glad person praise God I've got something to be glad about you know that you all have something to be glad about you could be in jail, out on bail, or in hell, amen. amen. But you're not. You're with us tonight, and we bless the Lord for that. We use the J to look first of all, and we see that he is the just one. Amen. The just one. Picture that O-N-E, capital letters, O-N-E. The just one. Luke one thirty five says, That holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. Amen. Don't yeah. that thrill your heart? That thrills me and gets me cranked up and gets me over into overdrive. Amen. And it makes me want to stomp the pedal and go on and, and hit passing gear. Amen. Yeah. And keep on going. In this fact that he is the just one, we see then his righteousness. Oh, what a Savior. First John chapter 2 and verse 1 says, My little children, I write unto you, yet you sin not. But if you do sin, what does it say? You have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, amen. the righteous. Amen. Aren't you glad he's righteous? He's the righteous one. Not only is he the righteous one, he's the reigning one. He's the one that reigns. Mark 14 verse 62. We find him when he went away that he's sitting at the right hand of God. Amen. Amen. The Bible teaches us that so we know it's the truth. The right hand of power, it says. And in that same, in chapter 16, verse 19, we see that he sat down on the right hand of God. And he's waiting one day at the right hand of God for God to make known to him and to all the angelic beings and to all of heaven's host. And then just in a split second when he says, Son, Go get your bride. Amen. Then he'll bound over the balcony of heaven. Right. He'll jump out on that Shekinah glory cloud. Amen. Hoover down over the earth and say, Come up hither, my bride. I have a table spread from sky to sky. Amen. And I'm going to serve you at this table. You sit down at the reception. Amen. We're going to have a marriage reception. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. And don't you know that table that spreads from sky to sky. And there he will serve. You say, he ought not be serving us. But he said he would. 
would. And he said, you serve me and I'll serve you. You draw nigh to me, I'll draw nigh to you. You won't get saved, I won't save you. But if you will get saved, I'll save you and I'll keep you and I'll call you up one day. And glory to God, he's the reigning king, amen. Praise God. I didn't want us to miss that one, all right? Not only is he righteous and reigning, that just one is rewarding. Aren't you glad when we get a reward? About this time of year, everybody's talking about gifts. They're talking about wrapping. They're talking about lights. And they're talking about this and that. And that's all good. There's not a thing wrong with that. Praise God. But right here is the real Christmas tree. Amen. 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 Right. And then 1 Peter uh, chapter 2, verse 4, I believe right. it is, or 1 or 2 Peter. Uh, you read that and see, on his tree... Amen. There's his tree to Christ of Christmas. It wouldn't be a Christmas. It wasn't for Christ. I've had loved ones that get a little upset because they cry and weep. And I understand crying and weeping over a loved one. I had someone tell me one time, said, hey, she won't be with us at Christmas this year because she died. I said, glory to God, she's with Christmas. Amen. Yeah, she won't have Christmas down here, but they'll have Christmas up there That's right. uh, throughout eternity. Revelation 22 and 12, speaking about the rewards or the gift or the presents, however you want to look at it. He said, behold, I come quickly and my reward is with me. Praise God. So you better be good and you better not pout. <laughs> Amen. There's somebody watching you. Amen. There's somebody watching us. Amen. Praise It ain't. He don't have on a red suit, neither. That's Say right. amen. Amen. All right. Praise God. We got that settled. Hey, listen. This is, I'm talking about the, re, the righteous one, the just one, the reigning one, the rewarding one, amen, that has uh, his reward with him. Then we see the E. Praise God. We saw the J. Now let's look at the E, the eternal one. The Amen. eternal one, John chapter 3, verses 1, 2, and 3 in part says, Thou art come from God. Amen. He's a teacher. He's the rabbi. He is, uh, he is our maker, our king. He is, uh, John chapter 1, verse 14, said he's the, the word that became flesh. And he said in first in the first verse of John, after being said many long years ago in Genesis chapter 1, that God created the heaven and the earth, John picked it up in chapter 1, verse 1, and he said that, uh, that Jesus was right there with him at that time. Amen. Amen. Praise God. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word mm -mm -mm, was God. Amen. 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 It wasn't anything made that was made he had have, didn't have a hand in. Praise God for that. Then look at this though. In, in, in John chapter 1, verse 11 and 12, said he came unto his own, and his own received him not. But as many as received him, to them did he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. Hey, that was us. That was us, all of those that the apostles gave witness to and about the Lord Jesus Christ. All the way down and all through the laws and the commandments that showed us and taught us our demise if we did not come to the Lord Jesus Christ. And oh, praise God, that glad day that when we looked over and saw Jesus standing in the shadows. He's always standing in the shadows. Where is Jesus? He's where he's always been. He is where the need is. What is your need to night. Do you have a need? Do you have a need in your heart, in your family, among your friends and your co-workers? Glory to God, he's there where your need is. You need to bow yourself to him. You want revival for the church? you got to come to Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, what a Savior. I just want to bless him tonight. Call time out and shout right there. Amen. Glory to God, Amen. what a Savior. Amen. He's worthy of all the praise we could ever come up with. Praise God forever and today. The, he's the eternal one. And that makes him then omnipotent. Omnipotent. What is omnipotence? That's unlimited power. Yeah. I mean, you can't even put a... Somebody said to me not too long back, said, I really put God on the spot the other day. And I said, man, you had to get a mighty big spot. Amen. I want to tell you, because his power is, is, is unlimited. In other words, God knows all things at all times. Yeah. Nothing misses. Uh, and someone again said, where do you ever come from? He's never been anywhere to come from anywhere. He's God. He's always was and always will be. If he had a starting place, he might have a stopping place. But he had no starting place. Amen. Okay. Amen. That answers all the questions about how the earth and stuff was formed. Not in detail, but that tells you whenever he spoke it, hey, it was so. Amen. Amen. Lord God. Amen. 
I, I like that. Don't you like that? Amen. I like that. I like the power of God. It's omnipotent. The power of God is omniscient. In other words, he has unlimited knowledge. You can't overshadow him with anything. That's Nothing right. is too smart for him. Nothing gets too dumb that he can't resurrect up out of it. Praise God. I mean, even, even a fool won't even err in the things of God. No. What a blessing that is to know. He, got, he knows all things and all people all at the same time. Amen. Not only omnipotent and omniscient, but he's omnipresent. He's everywhere at any time. All the time. Amen. As I've said many times, on October the 14th, 1966, in a little town called Nathenia, West Virginia, the Holy Ghost of God, while he was on his way to somebody else somewhere nearby, heard Tom Allen cry, cried out, Amen. and that he was going to hell. And God, I don't want to go to hell. And the Holy Ghost put on his brakes and came straight down to that little town in my daddy's house of Jesse and Lucille Milan, right there, an old preacher for 60, preached 62 years and helped start 11 churches and pastored nine of them. Oh, listen, the Holy Ghost came down to me when I looked at John 3.16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. When I put my name for God so loved the world as Tom Milan, whosoever as Tom Milan, don't you know he came preaching and any man gospel and that same Holy Ghost was preaching that night uh, going to somebody else's heart uh, and he heard me cry out oh God I don't want to go to hell uh, and the Holy Ghost came to me Amen. Amen. That help you? Amen. That helps me to say that over and over again my testimony. Amen. Amen. Oh I'm in the stillness of the late midnight hour I felt the presence of God's saving power. Well, I fell on my knees and I cried to him there. Oh, merciful Savior, hear this lost sinner's prayer. Now every hour and every day in every moment and in every way i'm leaning on jesus he's the rock of my soul i'm singing his praises wherever i go now i'll never forget that night on my knees oh the joy of that hour Oh, it's never left me. It's life's sweetest memories that time can erase. I'm saved by his mercy. I'm redeemed by his grace. Now every Amen. hour Amen. and every day in every moment I never I'm leaning on Jesus, he's the rock of my soul. I'm singing his praises wherever I go. Hey, glory to God, the devil said don't sing, I thought I would, amen. amen. When amen. the devil walks by your pew, you go, Pfft. 